Naito, when he was designing Gungrave, right, he's like, all right, what do I, what I got? Gotta have a big dumb gun. Show your process. Well, first I draw the edge. So today we're playing Gungrave, Gungrave Gore, and this, this is not what I expected. This is every intro of every Marvel movie from like the 2000s, Spider-Man, X-Men, it's all stuff like this. So this is how the gore begins, I guess. The game just starts up like this, by the way. It was like a few company logos and went straight into this honestly very nice looking uh, CGI cutscene. Don't take drugs, kids, unless they're awesome drugs. This is great advice. Great flop house advice. That's a fun city, Midgard. Look at that. Okay! <laughs> this is Gungrave Gore, and here we have our good friend Takahata101. Uh, what do you have to say for yourself, Taka? Taka, get off the roof! No! Oh, I'm so glad the Wary 101 is, is, is doing so great for you. I'm very, very happy. Boss and I have... Id Boss. I've identified that there is a seed refinery in Scumland that's responsible for the spread of seed. I'm assuming that's the evil drug. Grave Boss and the Elachal team are now infiltrating the Big Wall, the gateway to Scumland. Gotta stop them, Gampo! I have no idea. I watched the original Gungrave anime, and that was it. Like a couple of episodes, too. I don't think I ever finished it. Damn, that looks super good. Hmm. Oh my god, is that Graves' fucking coffin? His rocket coffin? He's heading into Dead Man's Curve! You, you guys might want to move out of the way. No? Okay. <laughs> <coughs> oh shit! Oh, that's amazing. It's beyond the grave hole. The site is clear. I got you, boss. Your troops are on the way. Okay, so this this is boss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's a lot going on here in Go Grave. I got this grinning skeleton man. I like that. Enemies? Oh, there they are. are okay. So you can either like just hold the button, you can do a dodge, hold the button for shooting, or tap it. I think you kind of exchange. Oh, there is a lot of them. Holy shit. I think you kind of exchange between guns by tapping or something. There's some subtlety there. Um, there were two other Gungrave games. I played one of them on, on the Madman Muscles channel uh, a few years ago. And they're weird. They're stiff. Uh, they play a little strange. This already, uh, I don't know, plays a little bit smoother. Just moving around and shooting, but I have no idea what to expect. I, you know, I've watched a couple of trailers of this. I think this was delayed a couple times. Ikumi Nakamura. Do Ooh. Oh! Nice. Sure. Uh, Ikumi Nakamura of, um, well, I mean, it's Ikumi Nakamura. You should know who she is. I uh, think she designed some costumes for this game specifically. I don't know whether those are pre ordered or unlockables. I just bought this, uh, just as it came out on Steam. This is the Steam version, and it's a little, un it's a tiny bit unoptimized. I've had some frame rate drops. Holy shit! Like that. That that was, that's my god mode, I guess. Not god mode. Um, rage of anime. I would like to rage! Time to kill. Oh god, it's time to kill. That was the amazing fight song from Gungrave Gore called Time to Kill. Bring it in, Steve. We gotta get the seed drug into scum town. So yeah, this this game doesn't seem to do a whole lot to catch people up to the to this world. It's a shitty future with drugs, not really super groundbreaking. It's really easy going music for most of the t oh, look at that. Just holding down the button does that charge shot. And what was that? I don't know, he's just getting all fancy. Don't get fancy, my dude. There's no time to get fancy. You get fancy, you get dead. RB again? What is- oh, stick. Okay, stick clicking in is like an execution when you're close range and RB is if you're a bit longer range. I think that that's what that's going for. Th there's Storm Barrage, which is a very cool name for something in a video game, but I don't know exactly what that is yet. Maybe- maybe what I just did? Uh, uh. That's really generous, but that- that reflect time? But you, you have to remain completely still. You can't be moving the stick or else it turns into like your combo hit. Great, the door. All right now. All right. 
There's dudes with shields. You ever seen uh, uh, enemies in video games that have shields? And you're like, yes! Love fighting these guys. Love them. Love them to death. I can, what can I do with this guy afterwards? I can throw him. Ooh, that reminds me of the throw in the Punisher PS2 game. Gotta miss you, baby. I do have a jump. At first, I thought I did not. I'm not sure if it actually has a use, but... I don't know why the fury from MGS3 is running away, absconding with those super drugs. All right, Ravenclaw forces are attacking us. They think they're so smart, but they're not. I love Graves Gate. <laughs> it's very stroppy teenager. I mean, that's what, you know, most, uh, that's what the fan base for Gun Green really is. So as far as my, my recollection goes, which as we all know out there is super precise and super exact, um, Gungrave started as a game, like the very first game, and then they made an anime based off that. And it was the main character was designed by the creator of Trigun, but Gungrave isn't like the anime was not like directed by him or the, the manga. I don't know. It's one of the more confusing anime uh, origins. Oh shit. So I can pull guys towards me, or I can pull all my girth towards them, which is nice. There already seems like a lot of options, uh, just with the chain and just regular shooting and the charge shot. Like, that's all you need at the start. That is the way I do it. That's how I do it downtown. Just like, oh, we're living in a blessed timeline where this and Evil West, just two very, you know, simple games. But no crafting, no microtransactions, no season passes, just straightforward action games are getting released. I don't know if this will be their big comeback. I, I kind of doubt it, but uh, I'm very glad for them. This, this is already quite fun immediately, uh, much like Evil West. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm probably gonna stop playing God of War and just, and just finish these two games first, then go back to God of War. Because I'm in Ironwood now, and it's so slow. It's interesting thematically, but so slow. Anyway, back to Gungrave. Uh, here you can see I'm shooting. I've gotten the Storm Barrage. Whatever that does yet. Not quite sure the bun combination. To unleash said Barrage of Storm. Lots of the nice pretty explosions, too, which is always a big, big win in my book. Night Tao, when he was designing Gungrave, right? He's like, all right, what do I, what do I got? Got to have a big, dumb gun. And let's let's one up that big dumb gun uh, trope by having it be a coffin. Yeah, okay. You can swing the coffin around, and he can turn into a bus. <laughs> he can swing that coffin around, turn into a bus. So he's got to have chains. He has to have chains. Yeah, he has. He's got to have the chains. Oh, he shouldn't talk at all either. Yeah, and his name should be Grave. And like there, he, I'm done. I'm done. The character. Show your process. Well. First I draw this edge. Those missiles are so slow. I wonder if you put that on higher difficulties. Uh, it's it's a lot faster. This music though, I love the constant wailings. It just sounds like Scott Steiner's here. I mean, there is a lot going on at any given moment. All the bullets flying. That's the way you do it. Is that the only line that that voice actress recorded? Oh, a boss. Got to be a boss. It's the Fury or Captain Voldemir. Uh, Vladimir from um, Voldemort. <laughs> Uh, Vladimir from from Number Heroes too. All right, big tank. Let's go. Powerful weapon developed by the Raven Clan. It moves slowly, but it's a devastating power. So a tank, you say? Hello, tank. Oh shit! <laughs> so yeah, you have these demolition shots in the bottom corner, uh, and those like fill up over time. Uh, you, you have four at once. I don't know how many there are. Oh shit! I don't know how many there are in the the, the full game, but it seems like quite a few. And they're, as we saw, very over the top. Just creating a giant bullet bill and just kicking it. All right, so so Rage of Anime, let's go. Look at that skull going nuts in the top corner. I love it. All right, well, that's dead. Don't you dare look at that explosion, sir. Taka, you're better than looking at that explosion. Yeah, he's not looking at it. Love him. Oh, S rank, baby. S rank, 100%, 100%, 151%. Th B, fuck. Corrupted crowd. Boss and the El Kalalal team are working on their first objective in Scumland. Grave has taken another route to distract the Raven Clan. I hate those Raven Clans. He needs to move swiftly to No Man's Gate or the Reserve Refinery. That's going to be fine for Grave, right? Yeah, it probably is. 
So we're in a city that's abandoned. Can't wait to see all the enemies we have to kill in this abandoned city. Well, these dudes just chilling, just vibing. I'm gonna just come in there and shoot them dead. They, they weren't even doing anything. <laughs> just standing there. <laughs> they kick their ass. I can't believe it. That's amazing. This game, this game should get a pass just based on that alone. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing about the charge shot is that you can't just hold it whenever you want. Like, you have to at least do a few shots first after holding it, and then it charges. If you're doing another action like jumping or, or whatever, you can't hold it then, and then he charges it. You have to be stationary, which is kind of lame. It's, it's a really powerful technique. Especially against living things, but like I can't seem to do it all the time whenever I want. Maybe that's maybe that's how they're balancing it. I'm not sure. It just feels like you should be able to do it. They're coming from all sides. They're always coming. Get up, we're still in trouble. Let me sleep. We're always in trouble. Every day, every day in the locker room they are coming. Oh ho ho ho! Oh god. Oh this one! Fucking amazing. Those are slow, like the like the homing rockets. Uh, the, the specifically the homing rockets in Perfect Dark One. They were so slow you could kind of outrun them, especially in slow mo mode. Big No More Heroes vibes off these enemies. It's just dudes in business suits and axes, and then like punks, and then they have stupid um, quotes. I like it. Great. Watch out. Oh my God, Q QTEs! They're back, baby! Oh, that's refreshing. So, like, uh, Gungrave Gore, more God of War than God of War is today. What a, what a timeless mechanic that, that the entire family can enjoy, really, when you think about it. I would say QTEs are pretty timed, ha 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 ha. So there's these weird techno guys, I don't know what their deal is. They're just wearing mocap suits, I don't, like... They're ghosts in the machine? What's going on with that? Sometimes there's battle music and other times there's not. I don't know what constitutes a big battle. Like, oh, this this battle's really important. Need the music for this one. Versus the, the guitar twang that happens. Because that that's going on during battles as well. Oh shit. Now now back to soothing guitar. Where? Where are the rockets? Where's Team Rocket? I don't see them. Oh shit. There's so many more of them coming, and they're all over the place. She's right. So what exactly happens here? He slams, he slams his his, his gun grave <laughs> in, into the ground, and just everyone just disappears. There's, there's nothing but pink mist. What is the first game that allows you to like reflect back missiles in terms of regular gameplay? You know, it's like I I my mind jumps to I don't know, um, Ocarina of Time when you're just volleying the the energy blast back to Ganon, but that's more of a specialized boss fight. It's not like a regular mechanic that happens too often. Nice. That's the way you do it. Oh God, sewer level. S rank, S rank. God damn it. Well, here's a skill tree stuff or just store to buy thing. Demolition point upgrade. It unlocks more demolition uh, moves. There's bullet damage by 25%. Yeah, okay. Oh, that took most of my points, actually. I'm bad at math, you see. Smash into the blood cannon. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I am purchasing with my hard-earned points. So yeah, I'm going, going into the sewers. Everyone everyone, let Sivvy know that there's a sewer level in Gungrave Gore. Mutant. They are inside water and in between rocks. What are you talking about? All I know is that I gotta kick their ass. So yeah, it's the same track whenever you're just exploring the level and it's not a, now we're fighting, but. So yeah, there's something up with the music. I'm not sure if it's slightly bugged because some of those last two battles in the previous level. Oh! Some of those last two battles in the previous level did not have that. Oh my God. Xbox 360 and PS3 games are back, baby. Just a lot of shooting going on in this gross this isn't the grossest sewer i've ever seen it's actually quite nice there's something about it people have offices set up things things are going down there's nice plant life i i could live in this sewer you really feel like you're shooting the fuck out of the environment like it almost feels like a a light gun shooter and all the destructibility and just bullet casings flying around and sparks and stuff yeah that's that's the way we handle things Sir, I need to speak to you with your extended car warranty. Oh my god, stink gas. My most hated of all gases. I don't know about you, but I was in like a massive firefight and I was like a cool 
badass anti-hero and there's someone let loose a stink grenade, I'd be like, I'll just wait for that to clear out. I'm, I'm in no hurry here. I can't work under these conditions. Oh, what? I just tore his head off there? It was unclear. What is this? Oh, this is what? <laughs> the Sonic mode. <laughs> Oh my god, this is why. This is the Y mode. It just goes ape shit. Not doing okay. What is this now? This is like another shooting mode. This this is what I was trying to this is what I kind of did before. You have to remain completely still. Tap RT a bunch of times and then hold RT. Creep, watch out. What the Oh, cause. Some say cause them. Many causes. I, I Oh yeah. It killed none of them! I'm melting due to something. I was taking acid damage. Yeah, they don't like that. Ew. God, I'm, I'm toxic again. Why am I toxic? Look, I'm just trudging through this sludge. I don't know if this is worth it, Grave. I don't even know what we're fighting for. Get out of the way. Uh, yeah. Whoop. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. He's going ham. Yeah, I've seen them before. Ooh, QTE maybe? Hell yeah! Relish these moments, children. When you play a game with a QTE, know that I'm smiling. So there is kind of an automatic, uh, like your, your, yeah, right there. Your aim does kind of snap onto things, which is, which is nice. I don't mind that. But when you want to manually shoot things like a, a red barrel that's nearby, it'll prioritize the enemies, which it should. But, uh, maybe like holding LT doesn't actually, uh, Bring up like a precise aiming mode. Oh my god, it doesn't bring up a precise aiming mode. It it, it activates the um the demolition shots. What the hell is all that noise? Oh shit! <laughs> there wasn't a cutscene for that. Hey, guys, get out of the way, please. Guys, ah! Ah! I need a big ass demolition shot here. Oh, nice. That was sick. Okay, I don't, need to, I don't need to kill every single dude. I think I actually do, now that I say that. Um, there's a results thing for kills. So those those guys out there will get killed by the by the death machine that they have. Whatever, digging machine. That's the way you do it. Oh, fun. Where was driving that? I was like, I'm just, I'm just going through whatever. I don't care at this point. Ugh. There are more that guy just did a kick. Like, he just wanders up to a dude with a, with a coffin. Techno coffin gun and he's like I'll kick him he won't be expecting that he's always keep them guessing you know that's true but at the same time uh may, may, may give them good answers yeah for so it's it's just so odd where a move is contextualized based on whether you're like going forward or not it's like you'd always expect hammering the the melee button would give you your combo but no it just does the reflect shot but it like really doesn't play like a standard action game. It plays it play like it is a shooter, a third person shooter f first and foremost. But then it has all these melee attacks and combos. <coughs> now what? Ligabu, the prize mutant Ligabu, a vile creature created purely for humans' entertainment. Aren't we all? Okay, weird that they're just throwing it. Okay, I thought it was gonna be fighting the bosses. It had the boss introduction and everything, but we're not fighting the bosses yet. Okay, cool. All right, here's the bosses. Whoa, oh shit. You need to fight it. Yeah, no shit, I'm locked in the arena, girl. It's so big. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do some damage here. Yeah, you can get up to multiple of these uh, fury like activations. Like you can earn like one or two. I think it's based on how high you get the beat counter up. Oh my god, I'm so slow. I'm taking acid and ice damage. This is a very inelegant fight, I have to say. Go away. Oh my god. All right, charge shot? No, never mind. Who cares? If I didn't have the fury activation, that would have been really annoying. This time, big ass ass rank. I'm not even going to bother to make the joke because it's going to be fucking B again. B speed. B speed. B speed. Hellhound. Look at this demolition shot. It's a concentrated blast. That looks pretty cool. Just, just a flamethrower. You can shoot fire in all directions, but you cannot move. Doom's rain. Missiles will fly towards the targets and explode. All right, because so sewers lead to subways. Therefore, you know, logically subway level. 
like it's nice to have little cutscenes to bridge areas together so you're not just appearing in like random areas with no explanation i i prefer that but like since grave doesn't talk he doesn't like the girl's not even talking in his ear so they're they're kind of nothing at the same time Watch out. Mafia gang. you always have to beware mafia gangs there's a lot of construction and mafia gangs in here. Are we sure we're not in Montreal? That, that that this speaks to me like someone doesn't know how to shoot guns. When they're just spinning around, they're like, this this should kill everybody, right? That's what that strikes me as. Let's see if we can get the beats counter up really high. Because if I keep shooting things, it doesn't have to be enemies. As long as things get shot, it still goes up. So yeah, I earned a rage activation there. 130, let's go. I earned another raid shot. 200, baby! Reaper! If you know what that is. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Can we get to 300? Keep shooting. No, no! Ah, oh, I lost it. Okay, well. Yeah, I can only keep it up for a little while. Smack them down! Smack them down. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm smacking. I'm smacking them real good, I guess. But shouldn't she just said shoot them down? Okay, come on. That was so short, that has to be an S rank. I'm not taking no for an answer. Yeah! Fuck! <laughs> Alright, so train level. That's good. You know, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, uh we'll, we'll see how the train level go- Oh, you're inside the train. And that's fine too, but you, you kind of want to be on top of it at the start. And then go in. But man, this is going to be a fucking shooting gallery. Yeah, yeah. Not, not much place to hide here. Get the fuck out. Big beats. I'm getting big beats in my head. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Yeah, we're on the train. <laughs> You're awesome, Takahata. Okay, we might have to wrap it up soon. Let's see. Let's see how this train level goes for just a little bit. Watch your head, Grace. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh wow, this is awesome. Oh, I I'm an expert at going beyond beyond the grave. And the guns, and I'm I'm kind of a a badass, I'm not sure. Pretty much a very big deal. Take care of these dudes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie doodle! Woo! <laughs> uh, I think, I think we'll quit there. Let's, let's see what this- <laughs> So that is Gungrave Gore. Uh, that's a really fun time. There's, there's some weird things going on with the music and how that's triggered and some of the control stuff is kind of funky, but um, I believe this came out on PC, PS5, and Xbox uh, series. I think it's uh, free on Game Pass right now, too, which is uh, a big ups for those that want to try it out risk-free. But that was a really good time. Let me, know, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments. And if you think I wouldn't like a game like this, you'd be gravely mistaken.